hello friends welcome to my youtube channel and today i'm going to show you how you can connect your aws s3 bucket to the data cloud in salesforce so log into salesforce data cloud and from settings select data cloud setup there uh, it will be uh, mentioned as connectors on the left hand side you have to click onto that and you see one existing Amazon S3 connection type. Now we are going to create new. And we'll search for Amazon S3 and click next. So this is the layout for Amazon S3 source. Here we have to fill all the details that are required. And they will come from the AWS s3 console so we will go on to that this is just the reference uh, sheet over here through which i am referring the steps to follow for the connection so i'll click on create bucket and put the bucket name and uh, we'll let ACLs disabled as it is block all public access that is as it is and tax they are optional so you don't need to uh, necessarily add them okay so now you proceed and uh, you see that it has been created the bucket you'll click on view details if you want to see more details so few tabs properties permissions matrix management access points and objects these are some additional information now as a next step we'll create new policy click on IAM now uh, create policy we'll search for s3 now two actions we have to search put object delete object that we will perform After that, you can click on any checkbox. Bucket name you can provide as per your convenience. Click save. Policy name you can provide. So I'm going to provide these two as if underscore data cloud underscore activation underscore additional as a policy name and description as enable delete object and put object for S3 bucket. So these two actions we are going to enable as a part of policy uh, tags. They are optional, you can uh, skip them and create policy. Uh, this policy already exists earlier in earlier connection. So I'll add S letter just to make it unique as a new one. Uh, it shows green. It has been created. You can click on view policy to see additional details. Okay, so now uh, info can provide additional details and as a next step, you will refer creating a new user. 
so you can create user username you can provide as per your choice so i'm gonna provide this one as a username next attach policies directly so it will automatically fetch those policies that you created earlier okay this tab i have to um, close by mistakenly i have open so now in this policy i will search for two the first one is by the name s3 red you can uh, type that it will come more there select that Second one is SF underscore data cloud. So use type and then you can search from these two. The second one that we added just now before. Review and create. So we can review that and create. Text are optional user has been created successfully view user here uh, ARN would be displayed you can copy that and keep it for reference for this bucket for this user this is the ARN next steps to uh, create access key so at uh, any external uh, platform where you would be integrating your connecting your aws so it will ask for this the access keys so here you can provide the description value and uh, description tag any name you can give and create access key this is my channel logo. You can subscribe to my channel. Thanks for uh, being there in the video till now. So now uh, these details, the access key secret key, you can copy all as well and you can download it in the CSV form and keep it for reference for your other activities that you're going to perform further. It would be useful. Done. Here it is. Okay, so now we are going to validate the user to this uh, URL policy simulator. So it will open a new tab here. Check the user that you are making connection for file names you can check these two should be there and these five actions we are going to perform so in the service select s3 and under the actions tab in policy simulator you can select those five actions that are being displayed the first one is the delete object. The second one is the get bucket location. Third one is the get object. And the fourth one is the, let's see. Okay, third one is this one. And the fourth one is list bucket. And the last one is put object. okay so now you're going to expand the first one and the last one here you have to give the ARN related to this go to uh, your Amazon console and there under services under bucket you will find under properties this ARN copy this put it over both the fields 
followed by a slash and asterisk. Run simulation, all five should be in green, positive, uh, showing allowed. That means you're good to go. Now uh, we will head back to our uh, data cloud page to go further. As we are done, so we will establish the connection. So here we will put the connection name as test2. Access key and secret key you can put uh, from the file that you downloaded or copied. Bucket name as uh, created earlier, the same name you have to put over here to make a successful connection. And the last is the parent directory so that you can get from Amazon uh, console, AWS console over here in the URL. You can copy that and paste that and click save and your connection would be established successfully. So once you do that, you're good to go. Uh, click test connection successful okay click save so now see that uh, this connection has been established and it has been linked to your data cloud thanks for your time please subscribe to my channel thank you